Hello. Hello. Hi there. Hello, good evening. Hello, can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah, cool. Sorry, my headphones were not set up. How's everyone? Good. <laughs> Time is flying by as usual. Yeah, it's August. Hello, Alan. Welcome. Let me start sharing. Okay, let's get started in a minute. Um, in the meanwhile, if you would like to sign yourself in, or oh, uh, let me share the link. Okay. Hello, uh, welcome, Robert. Welcome, Tracy. Hey, guys. All right. I guess it's pretty fast. It's probably a good time to get started. Um. Yeah, so last time we, we welcomed our new members. Um, but Alan, since you, you were not there, um, so welcome to, to the TOC. And would you like to say a couple of words, introduce yourself to the rest of the group? Uh, yes. Hey, this is Alan from Screwdriver Team. Um, yeah, I've been working on Screwdriver for um, almost five or six years. Um, really excited to be here. We were actually very excited um, to be part of the incubator of CDF. And yeah, I'm very glad to be here too. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, I lead the UI design of a screwdriver. Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, we can get out again. And yeah, if you have any question, feel free to reach out. Um, good. Um, yeah, so welcome everyone also to the TSC meeting. Today is almost already unbelievable. Uh, so the first item on the agenda, um, I'm not sure who it is. It's it's Oktoberfest 2023. Was it you, Fatih? Yeah, yeah, I just uh, was talking with Roxanne and she wanted me to ask the project representatives and TOC in general about our project's plans with the Hacktoberfest because we will need some information from our projects, like which projects 
plan to participate any blog post they want to you know get published and promote on CDF we need them as well as uh, contact persons from projects that want to participate in Oktoberfest need to be identified so we can get things going on CDF side as well so this is a heads up and if you get if you can get this information by August 3rd first, we can line things up properly. So Fatih, how did you want that notification? Jenkins will be actively involved. We set ourselves a goal to add 50 contributors during Hacktoberfest. So how do you want, you just send a message to you and Roxanne, how would you like that? Um, maybe we can track this on this document and I can pass the entire information to Roxanne, like, let's say until August 15th, next TOC meeting, if you can get the list of projects who want to take part in the Hacktoberfest with the contact names, then I can pass them to Roxanne. We can start with those projects. And then if some other projects want to take part in it, they can do that latest August 3rd first. Great. Yeah, so we, we can will. add Jenkins to the list right away, I think, Mark. Yeah, we will participate too. That's okay. a very ambition goal, goal. I'm really impressed. 50 new contributors. Like yeah, that. well, but remember that Hacktoberfest contributors aren't nearly as valuable as long-term contributors. But I know. I it's, know. But it's, it's nice, nice to, to have a goal. It's nice to have a goal. And if we don't achieve the goal, I'm not overly concerned, right? Yeah. We like goals and we like to have a goal that we, we can push on. I think that we should. I'm going to encourage our uh, community to set a goal for that because they'll go out and recruit people then. You know? Right, right, exactly. And it's that's what it is. Part of it is just shameless recruiting, right? Yes, Actively yes. asking people, wouldn't you like to contribute? Of course you would. And I'll show you how. You know, last year yeah, I got my pull request in, but I never got my t my Hacktoberfest t-shirt. But, but that's okay. Maybe I maybe I selected the planet tree. But then uh, we can reach out to you, Mark and Trace for Jenkins and Ortelius. And if you are not the contact persons, you can bring those names to us and then we can communicate with them. Yes, thank you. So, so. Great, yeah. <clears throat> Thanks, Fatih, for um, bringing this. Um, yeah, it's great we get some time to... Um, to prepare for this. I really hope city events will participate and Tecton as well, but yeah, I'll, I'll check with the rest of the communities. Yeah. All right, a um, couple of action items from last time. Uh, so we discussed about IP policy and licenses. So I created a, a PR as we discussed in the, uh, the processes for um, new projects and of course I made a few mistakes so thanks Fatih for spotting those um but yeah so if you'd like to review then hopefully we we can um merge this it's nothing more than we discussed last time about um that projects should be should well as a freedom to pick their license as long as it's an OCI license and they can take their own decision about whether to use DCO or CLA or whatever mechanism for IP um, and also trademarks and service marks. So I will um, address your comment here, Fatih. Yeah, about but, this yeah. IP policy, I, I want to add some things if we have time. Because this question sure. has been around since the very early days of the CD Foundation. So originally, I think, Andrea, you uh, linked another issue in your pull request that is from 2019, 20 or something. And that was kind of where we start our conversations with the LF Legal. And according to LF Legal, the IP policy uh, documented for CNCF is the old way of doing things. So the old way means the IP policy set on foundation level. And when we went to the LF legal like a few months ago, two, three months ago, and I, we asked like, okay, you want to have an IP policy for CD foundation? Their response and recommendation was, 
we should follow the new way of doing things, which means the project projects determine their RP policies on project level rather than us having an IP policy on foundation level, which gives projects autonomy and you know they kind of dis discuss this within their communities. And if there is no IP policy documented on project level, the licenses are kind of used as catch-all. Like if something is not documented, everything could then be you know, referred back to the licenses in general, which is Apache 2.0. So that was kind of what confused us as well because the NCF policy was referred on that issue, but that wasn't, and that isn't the way we would be doing this for our projects. Thanks, Fatih. Uh, Mark, you wanted to comment or something? So we've got a we've got an IP question right now that's being discussed in the Jenkins board, actually, and it I, I would might help if we had some guidance. One of the the IP questions came in that there is a library on which we are dependent, the JSON library, which has a license that is per strict definition, not OSI. And we've got several like that, right? What what the author of that particular library did is they put an acute phrase into the, the license as a somewhat of a joke. This library may not be used for evil. It must only be used for good. But the lawyers correctly say that makes their heads want to explode because the definition of good and evil is a very subjective thing. And, and so, but I don't want to drop that component and therefore, we're going to do in the Jenkins Governance Board probably an exception where we declare we accept this license, even though it is not strictly OSI compliant. And that, that I think, fits with your comment, Fatih, of allowing projects the autonomy to adopt their own IP process or IP rules. However, it might be helpful if we had a prototype that we could offer. Consider this as your standard approach that keeps it simple for projects that are getting started. And yeah. I don't have an answer yet on the Jenkins project. I've still got to persuade the board that they're okay with making exceptions to the IP policy. And Mark, if it is okay with you and Jenkins board in general, if you can share information about this, we can open up a question to LF Legal and say, Okay, this is what you recommended us to follow. The projects have their own IP policies. They can set that. But in this case, it is a license that is not OSI compliant license. What would be your recommendation? And then that could be an additional input to your discussion on Jenkins board as well. Great. Thank you. And we we actually have several licenses like that where we've got components. This particular one is a recent thing. So in your suggestion is engage LF legal in the question at least allowing them to offer their 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 insights We're happy to do that yeah that yeah yeah can i just say i think this is a huge advantage of being part of a foundation i think it's it's one thing we should be providing for our projects is a little help in this area because i think many many developers don't really understand the impl the implications of different licenses so i, I think this is something we really should pay attention to a little bit more than we do right now. Um, and also there's there's following the rules and then there's understanding why. So I think if we really outline what we're protecting projects from, I think that would be crucial to getting um, buy-in. Yeah, so wholehearted, wholehearted, yay, absolutely, Melissa, because I don't want to know about IP. The only reason I know about it is because I feel like I must. And that's a terrible thing for a developer, right? That's an awful experience for a developer. I have to think about lawyer stuff. I don't want to think about lawyer stuff. Sounds good. Um, do you have anything in particular, Melissa, that you think we should do in terms of advertising these kind of services or us doing more about this yeah, in this I direction? Think 
basic education on what the licenses are and what they mean, but not the, the legal meaning of what they mean. Um, give some use case scenarios of what they mean. You know, with this license, you cannot package this up into a product and sell it. Uh, with this license, uh, you can have many contributors and not have to worry about anything. You know, things like that, that the use case scenarios that developers and projects would really care, really care about. And, and we've got wording like that on the Jenkins uh, licensing page if if anyone wants to borrow it, right? It's it's long ago determined we've got to choose MIT and not LGPL because of characteristics of each license, et cetera. Exactly. So Melissa's, exactly. Melissa's, what she's pointing is real and we've got some text for it on the Jenkins pages. That's good. Um, Mark, would you like to drop a link here in the notes, perhaps, to the Jenkins page? Please. Sure, happy to do it. You bet. I also put a link to the link to a free course by the Linux Foundation around open source licensing basics. I can put it on the document if you think it helps. That was going to be my next question, but you read my mind. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I can include the link to this course in my in the PR that I'm working on. Awesome. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that course. So awkward, embarrassing moment of saying, oh, wow, I should take that course. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Anything else on IP? All right. Uh, so moving forward, I, I will update the, the PR and last thing, but yeah, okay. So next, next uh, last time um, we said that uh, maybe Mark and or Tracy would prepare a proposal for the GP about transferring marks, service marks um, and trademarks as a thing that we should be doing. I don't know if there is any news on that, uh, just copy the, the action sorry, sorry i missed my action item so i did this, too this was about service <laughs> marks and trademarks and so the jenkins project certainly did that when we had to transfer the trademark for um transfer the trademark okay great there it is i should remember these things yeah no, so, I I... action item remains with me And that proposals to the to our governing board. Is that what the goal was here? I think first for discussion here yeah. in the in the talk and in the technical oversight, and then ultimately to the governing board. Yeah, because we we should have we we should be aware of registering our trademarks. Uh, it's it's a service that shouldn't be that expensive generally, and and it's healthy for us for intellectual property purposes. But I'm I'm confused. Didn't but didn't we just look at something um, that was in the thread about uh, trademarks? Didn't we just have a discussion about that? It was in the uh, this. Uh, yeah, I put a comment the, on Andrea's pull request. Yeah. It was in the Git. It was in the GitHub discussion about yeah that right there. So again, this is a recommendation from LF Legal. Like as Mark mentioned, like Jenkins, when Jenkins uh, joined the CD Foundation, the existing trademarks were transferred to CD Foundation or Linux Foundation. And <clears throat> when we had a similar conversation with the LF Legal, their response was like, okay, even without trademarks, we have some kind of protection based on the low trademark 
So again, Mark, it would be it would still be good to have this conversation on TOS level to increase the awareness. Plus, we can bring this topic to board and see the response, and then if needed, we can go back to legal again. But this is the basic framework. Even without having trademark, we still have some kind of protection. So shouldn't we have each of the projects add this somewhere? Only if the only if the projects have a trademark that they're they're worried about. Like Ortelius doesn't have any trademarks. Oh, actually, I think I think Ortelius does. The name Ortelius Ortelius should be a should be trademarked. And the right, but we have not gone through the trademark registration because it's going to cost between ten and twenty grand. Yeah, and, and I'm challenged. That part of me is mentally challenging that cost because I see trademark registration services that offer services on the order of hundreds of dollars, and I think it's it, that's why that's what hence my action item is find out can we find a way to register trademarks inexpensively at least in the U.S. and and thus have some protection for them. If not, no harm. Got it. Yeah, we've always used our own private attorneys to do it. Yeah, That's there's. A, I'm looking right now. I just Googled something. It says trademark and just register your trademark for 49 bucks. Right. Which, which of course, feels like feels like somebody's selling something cheaper than is possible. But yeah, but yeah exactly. It's, it's those kind of things. That we we've got to we we owe it to ourselves to explore them at least. Yep. Totally agree. Okay. I'm on board now. Great, thanks uh, for the update. Uh, so Fati, the, the text that you pasted there in the, the PR, would you like me to include that directly in the guide or? I think we can add a note there for unregistered trade, unregistered project names, or I don't know if there is something called unregistered trademarks. So projects could know, even without registration, there is some kind of protection due to common law. Yeah, and the, okay. the other question is on the trademark. Is trademarks done by state? Or is it a federal level? It, it's federal. Yeah. Like it's federal. Thankfully, it's federal oh. level. But the, it's okay. all of the all of the countries around the world tend to have their own. And so it's it's yeah, complicated yeah. in all sorts of ways. It's, yeah, yeah that, the, going beyond the U.S., I think that gets really complicated. It's the T in USPTO. Okay. She, even better, it's the the entry in the Constitution that just that talks about it, right? So yeah. It, All right. Um, Thanks, Robert. Anything else on this? All right, next, uh, we had the project communication metrics. So I created the issue here to collect this data for all the projects. Um, so that we can build some web page on our website where we share this information and make it easier for our users to, to browse and reach out to the different projects. So I got uh, data already from a number of the projects um and so please reach out to to the project that you represent so we can get this uh metrics completed and start working on on publishing the page just a reminder of that um i also noticed that i was checking what the cncf does for this um, and so they have a, C, a project page similar to what we have, um, but in our project page, so where is it? So we basically, it looks nice and we, we refer to the landscape directly. So what the CNCF does instead, they have one page for each project. And in this, in here, they provide basic project, sorry, information with the links to different things. 
And then I think this is some kind of filtered content feed. So I guess blog posts, news, and so forth, which are tagged for the specific project. And yeah, I don't know. So this sounds like a good idea. So maybe something we could took inspiration from, or maybe even reuse the technology behind it for from the CNCF. I wonder how long it'll take to update all those Twitter icons. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we have oh. to worry about it, Melissa. A major. I'm not major, doing it. <laughs> well, right now it's probably not going to. That X is going to go away. That's a trademark. <laughs> that, X is already trademarked by Microsoft. So uh, X is not going to be around long. It'll be something else. So we may as well wait. <laughs> oh, is it traded? Uh, is a trademark from Microsoft? X? Yes, X is a trade. They already filed a lawsuit against uh, Twitter for it. Interesting. I, I was thinking about the X window manager, the, the project, but I didn't realize that <laughs> it was Microsoft <laughs> as well. So anyways. Andrea just dated himself, everyone, just so you're clear. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking, how does Andrea remember that? <laughs> Oh, well. not, only, not only that, that Twitter X is really bad. It's like, how much did somebody get paid for creating that pathetic looking thing? <laughs> I was like, wow. I wouldn't yeah. have paid. I would have been like, no, I'm not paying you for that. No way. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was Elon's idea. Yeah. <laughs> The space X and whatever. I X. know, exactly. <laughs> then you should have called it Tweet X or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um... Okay, so I guess that's uh, it for the communication metric. So please ask your project to provide the data and uh, reach out to to Roxanne and see if she has um, bandwidth to start working on this. Uh, she's already commented on the issue, so but just sync with her. And uh, the last thing we mentioned last time in terms of actions was the how to join the CDF guide. Uh, Melissa, you mentioned you would start working on. Yes, started last week, still in progress. Um, I'll have something viewable today to put in front of you guys uh, this week. But um, just to clarify, our focus here was project level, like how to join as a project, correct? We have plenty of information on how to join as a like a, a member, a paying member. Um, and if I recall so correctly, our focus was project joining. So I'm taking a lot of our discussion today, even about like IP and stuff like that. I think that would be a good question to have up front and center with a, you know, an answer for projects wanting to join what they need to do there, if anything. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we discussed. And thanks a lot for, for doing that, Melissa. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, all right, moving forward. Um, we don't have any project update scheduled for this week or presentation, unless yes, anyone has something that they want to, to share or jump in here. All right, um, then moving forward, I just wanted to share this with, uh, with the rest of the group. Uh, so Brad, Brad McCoy, went through the SDLC uh, track at KubeCon and kind of made a list of projects that are mentioned there. So you put them in a spreadsheet and started going through the list and see you know, what is the foundation or company behind and tracking some information. And I guess uh, the idea from Brad that was that um, some of this project might be candidate for uh, CDF project or project to keep an eye on. Um, so I thought that was a good idea. So I started, I created this spreadsheet with the list and maybe that's something that we can keep going 
in future, if any one of you is aware of an interesting project, we can track it in our spreadsheet and review it on a regular basis and see if there is any one we should reach out in terms of opportunity to join the CD Foundation as a project. I have not finished going through the list, um, but yeah, hopefully we'll do today. All right. Um, so in terms of DOC roadmap and work items, let me just bring it up. So, um, so what we have in progress, communication map we discussed already, IP policy we discussed already, member project benefits document is something that is still um, in progress. I don't think we have any update on that, uh, but we have the how to join work that you're doing, Melissa. Um, so thanks for that. So CD reference architecture. I, didn't have any uh, update right now on that, um, but maybe it's part of the SIG interoperability. We can talk about it later, or is there anything? I think this is something that we'll be <clears throat> we'll be relaunching the SIG interoperability group this week. Uh, this is definitely something that will be added to our agenda. Thanks. So, archive the Chinese localization group. Um, uh, Channels Conversation Special Interest Group. So this is done. The only thing I don't have enough privileges to actually archive the GitHub repo and or the mailing list. I don't know if anyone has. Uh, maybe you have Patty or Michelle has. Yeah, I can I can do that, Andrea, after the meeting. Thank you. So we can close this one. Um we have document and promote the role of TOC contributors. Um, I don't know that. In, I don't think anyone is actively working on this one. So create a new how to join the CDF guide. This is uh, we discussed already. Streamline and simplify the project onboarding. Um, yeah, so yeah, this is just a container for what we discussed already. So once these two are finished, we can close this one. So election of TOC co-chair, this is actually, we've done it last time, so we can move it to done. And congratulations again, Melissa, to you. Thanks for stepping up for this role. And July, what was it? Mm. Hey. And in terms of backlog, go SEM. I don't have any news on that. I've not been able to get any update. Um, Azure credit for Jenkin X. I don't have any update either. I don't know if anyone knows anything on this. Yeah, Jenkins X applied for the credits, but they, the last time I had a chat with Ankit, they haven't heard back yet. So, Fati, is there a way to get additional Azure credits for the established projects? Certainly, we're a heavy user of Azure. I assume this was for them as a as a first time user of Azure, is that correct? Yeah, I think so. I, uh, there is 
an application form which I can dig in from the past issues and share it with you, Mark. Like we can try and see if we get a response. If we if, don't, then we won't be worse than where we are now. Yeah, so. if if you're willing to share it, we would we would be happy. Yeah. I think. Yeah. We're very grateful to CDF for, for our Azure infrastructure. We're critically dependent on it. But if Microsoft would donate a little bit, that would ease the financial burden. So, Um, we had one item about uh, mitigate project infrastructure cost, and I guess what we discussed is part of that. I don't think we have any general initiative around that today. Um, so that's something in the backlog that if we someone wants to drive this this kind of work, um, some ideas we can start at some point. Um, Define the TOC budget usage policy we discussed already. Uh, we don't have any budget today, and so we just kept it in the backlog in case it is useful in the future. I don't know, we need to keep, even keep it there, but okay. Um, AWS and Azure testing accounts. Uh, this is actually closed, so it should be moved to down column. And see event specification 1.0. Um, yeah, so we don't have anything new. So we have a new release of CD event 0 0.4 planned, uh, but we don't have any specification for a 1.0 yet. Okay, so hopefully that didn't take too much time. Um, so after the roadmap, next up is SIG updates. Is there anything else you wanted to mention about the relaunch, Melissa? Or... No, uh, just that probably for that first meeting, we're going to redefine what the group does, what our goals are, what it actually means to be part of the interoperability SIG for anyone new. Um, and I'm looking for if not myself or Dadisi, a speaker for that to talk about interoperability and its history. And I have someone in mind, but I won't name him here, <laughs> but I'll reach out. I, I don't see I don't <laughs> see you get better than you and Dadisi. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, that's an option. I mean, no offense to your to your you know player to be named later, but you know. <laughs> There's a lot of firepower in that, you know, dyad there. This is true. This is true. I have ideas. I have ideas. Um, yeah, happy to help. Let me, let me know if you, you know, th this is something near and dear. I mean, these tools fail if they're not working together. Right. Um, and, yeah, and, and true. also they succeed with, you know, uh, Metcalf law, uh, every, every node you add to the network, it increases the value of the network. Is that Metcalf or is it something else? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like we, we should absolutely have every single one of our tools playing well with each other. Um, and this, forces the market to play well. So I would very much like with all these open source tools and then Harness shows up and say, oh, hey, <laughs> we want to play too. Great. Bring your buddy Octopus. <laughs> oh, did he see he's on the call? All right, right on. <laughs> um, speaking of which, I didn't think it applied here, but it absolutely does. We have CD events scheduled to present this month in August. Do we have a date for that or any commitment there yet? Because um, if so, I would love to advertise that a little more. Right. Um, we don't have an exact date yet, um, but I would assume, I mean, let me see what meetings we have. 
and see if so well actually so today is the first so next meeting is going to be the 15th mm -hmm. and then it's going to be the end of august so uh, emil um scheduled the, the presentation but he's currently on pto until beginning of next week okay uh, so I can reach out to him. I know you're going to be out too, right, Andrea? Yes, I'm going to be out from the 11th of August. Okay. Uh, um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know if Emil had a specific date in mind for presentation. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Okay, uh, Silicon Japan, is that you, Patti? Yeah, well, before Silicon Japan, maybe I can give an update about best practices because there have been some work happening in that group. So if you are in uh, the SIG best practice website, uh, Slack channel, you might have noticed there have been some GitHub pull requests being merged and so on. The reason behind that work is some of our ambassadors actually shown interest in translating CDF, CD best practices to different languages. And the two languages they start looking to this are Spanish and French. And there are other people who are interested in translating the best practices, but uh, the best practices seek said that maybe we can start with a few languages first to put the basics in place because they need to do some updates to like Hugo and Boxy and some other stuff and make the site support different languages. So if you are you know, interested in contributing to translation efforts in French or Spanish, you can tag along with others like Moise Kameni from Hido Quebec and Oscar Cortez Braco. They are looking at this and working with uh, Tara and Terry. So yeah, there is that work happening in the best practices seek. And some of our projects already have translations, I think, like if you can like bring some help to this work, we are using similar tool chain, or if you have some best practice when it comes to how to do translations, that would be appreciated as well. And Silicon Japan, uh, you might have seen this morning, we sent a message to Slack as well as started promoting on Twitter and LinkedIn. We have been working on uh, having an event in Japan to uh, bring the awareness around continuous zero and continuous zero foundation. And we finalized the uh, event logistics last week. So the call for proposals as well as pro pro uh, program committee applications are open as of today. So if you are you know, interested in talking at the event or if you want to take part in selecting talks, please feel free to go and you know submit talks or apply for the program committee. And the event will take place on December 4th, which is Monday. It will be a full day event between 9 to 5, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's all about Silicon Japan. That's great. Thanks, Patty. How long is the flight for you? How long Sorry? is that flight? How long is that flight for you, man? I think it's 12 hours or something, and it goes through North Pole, and you get a diploma. After oh, yeah. Flight. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So it's not bad flight. It's nice flight, actually. What about you, Melissa? <laughs> How, long that? How long is that for you? It's a pretty long flight. You know, I've I've been to Japan once and honestly I can't remember. <laughs> you blocked it out. I have. I don't know, man. I think you need to get a long layover in Hawaii. 
<laughs> yeah. All right. Um, anything else from anyone for today? Hey, I the the Azure credits for Jenkins X. Um, one thing just to let y'all know. Um, what the and mainly update for you, Fati. Uh, you know there there's. The PM team, PMO was, everybody was hitting me up like, hey, we want credits from AWS. Where are the credits? And so I reached out to those folks uh, at AWS. There's a whole office, credits and strategy. Uh, I, th I think that's the actual name, OSS credits and strategy, maybe strategy and credits. And the reason why any of the requests that happened like the second half of the year have been unsuccessful is because they ran out of budget. They, they gave it all away. And so I reached out to Spot, Tom Calloway over there, and he said, look, if you batch this stuff out and we do a big LF wide ask, we would very much appreciate it. And it would increase your chances of success. Because if you make the ask the week after reInvent, it's prior to budget in January, blah, 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 blah. So I've got a doc. Is, is, who's, is there a PM assigned to CDF? Yeah, it's Michelle. So, oh, so okay. Yeah. So, so Michelle, if if Michelle needs help with that stuff, I'm just I was looking at the doc that we have, and and I didn't see anything from CDF, and of course I'm I'm showing who my favorite child is. Um, <laughs> you know, my favorite uh, foundation slash child is uh, at LF. But if um, you or Michelle needs help with that, let me know. Uh, finding it uh, would love to see you know, the other, you know, things that we have, you know, where my bias is always going to be, but let me know. Yeah, but basically we'll it's going to be, put... yeah, I mean, I would love to make that ask and, you know, let um, AWS understand how they need to spread the love, um, you know, to CICD um, and maybe get involved with uh, making sure these, things work bet you know work really well with AWS. Yeah, I will I will definitely thank you, Robert. Now you made yourself known. Oh yeah, dude. You can't get rid of me. I'm playing both sides here. <laughs> All the sides. There's no both sides. There's multiple sides. The 20 sided die. Well, you're not going to put right. that 20 sided die analogy in, in the notes. You want me to put that in? All right, fine. I'll put it in. Yeah. I'm, I'm just making jokes because we're at the tail end of the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Is that no, 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 no. I, <laughs> I'll edit this. All right. I got it. I was joking. Get rid of it. it, 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 it. I mean, meetings recording. People can go back and see it if they want. All right. Thanks for that. So, um, all right. Anything else from anyone? Who am I going to see in Spain? Who's going? Yeah, I'll be there. Going. Okay. You, you can come to Portugal and visit me. <laughs> I'm going to be in Portugal when I'm not, we're not going to go to Spain. <laughs> It's so close too. I know, but it's like I'm on vacation. And we're not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. I just good for you. Off. Yeah, good for you. Sometimes mental health is more important. Yes, I love how you're taking a vacation from Santa Fe, where everybody goes for vacation. <laughs> I know. And I'm I get the same feedback about Austin. <laughs> why why are you leaving another... Austin? It's another Spanish kind of community, right? Obviously, there's I, I have a style. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Hey man, you know it, it's it's going to be beautiful. I'm hoping it's Santa Fe on the beach. Um, yeah, I think so. I think that whole peninsula is that's the vibe I pick up. It, you know, really scrubby, the the vegetation and stuff like that. Yeah.
All right. Enjoy your vacation, Tracy. Well, thank um, you. We're but not going to the end to of September, so we'll see at the beginning of September. Right on. So, oh, yeah. So, Neil, you're going. Uh, Fati, yeah. who, who else was going? I'm going. Okay, right on. Mark, you in? Mark. No? Okay. No. Come on, Melissa. I wish. I'm jealous of y'all. <laughs> All right, well, let's try and get together. Um, I'll, I'll be there for the whole thing and coming in early. So let me know. Sounds good. Yeah, let's catch up there. Yeah, I'm very interested. I mean, this is Basque part of Spain, right? That we're going to, is that is that what it is? Yeah. So never yeah, been yeah. there. So really interested in, you know, uh, yeah, I've done the whole Las Ramblas tapas thing in Barcelona. So looking forward to seeing what they do in in Bilbao. Well, the conference center is a ten minutes walk from the Guggenheim Museum. So hopefully we can see that. Bar there? And I see. <laughs> there you go, Probably. bar the museum. All right, let me know. All right. Okay. Well, um, see everyone not next time, but in, after the the holidays, and yeah, take care, everyone. Thank Thanks, you gang. All. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.